Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I'll say somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, uh-huh, look at yourself and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Or we gonna jump right into it. Or we gonna jump right into it. Because that's how we do it over here. Y'all know how we do. Bob Marley was born on February 6th in 1945. In Saint Anne, Jamaica. Bob Marley was born to a Jamaican woman by the name of Sadella Marley. And a white man by the name of Norville Marley. Bob Marley, mama was 18 years old when she gave birth to this musical genius. Bob Marley, his mama was a poor woman at that time. She didn't have much. And they stayed in one of the poorest parts of Jamaica, Trenchtown. Okay? They said Bob Marley mama, she might have been poor, but she was always able to find a way to make things happen. They stayed in a little shack in the countryside. This shack was made of metal and wood. Metal and wood. But she treated that shack like it was a mansion house. Who I said I'm going somewhere we're here tonight. Check it out. Honey, Bob Marley mama. She said when Bob Marley was a young child, she ain't had no problems from him. She said Bob Marley was obedient. Whatever she told him to do, he'd just do it. He ain't giving no lip or why I got to do it. He just did it. Huh. Honey, when so so was a child, I used to get my ass whooped every fucker day. Every time, every time you turn around, I was getting my motherfucker ass whoop. I said, well, damn. I feel like a fucker slave. I was getting so many ass beatings. Honey, Bob Marley say I, I ain't had no problems with him. He went to school. He was obedient. He ain't talked the fuck back. He was a good ass child. She said the only thing he liked to do was, was play and make friends and shit. She said he was a loving, sweet, respectful little boy. Y'all know I got to paint this picture so y'all can understand about these people's lives. I want to just tell you about the death. I want to show you the life. Moving on. Bob Marley daddy. He was a white man. Who was a captain. For the British government. They said Bob Marley. Spent one day. Around his daddy. And after that. He was gone. The white daddy. He left. He ain't never see him again. Now I want you to overstand this. Bob Marley mama was 18 years of age. Bob Marley daddy, he was 50 years old. At that time, you ain't want to be seen with no half black child walking around this fucker. Can I be real tonight? I said back in that time, he ain't want to be seen to around this half black and white child. He said, hell no. He seen Bob Marley one time. He said, I ain't gonna bring, I ain't gonna bring this baby around my people. They still prejudice. He was ashamed, ashamed of his seed. His daddy wasn't proud of him. Y'all know how it go back in slavery time. They end up having sex with the black woman and then the black woman got to raise the child. Who I'm going to leave it right there. I said I'm going to leave it right there. Honey, Sadella Marley. Bob Marley mama. She was a singer. She would write songs. And she would sing them songs around the motherfucker house while she cleaning up. After Bob Marley heard his mama singing, he said, he just loved that music so motherfucking much that she used to write and sing. 
He said, well, fuck that. I want to sing too. So one day, Bob Marley cousin, he gave him a homemade guitar fashioned out of bamboo and goat skin. You know, at that time, they ain't have much money. And honey, Jamaicans is known for making shit. Huh. Hello, somebody. So the cousin came on over. Gave him this, this goat skin fashioned bambooed guitar. Honey, the mama say she looked up and thought B.B. King was in the motherfucking shack. Okay. Huh. She said, who the fuck is this playing this music in here? Bob Marley in there playing the guitar like he been playing for years. So that's how he got into the music from his mother. Singing and cleaning around the house. And if you know any Jamaicans, they can clean their ass off. Huh. That's why today I think I got OCD. Because that's how we used to do. Clean the fuck out of some shit. Shit, we drop something on the floor. We used to get our ass beat. Feel a wet smack right on that ass. Oh, you sink that shit on the floor and you just gonna walk the fuck up over it? Oh, hell to the no. Huh. Must overstand it. Moving on. At 15 years of age, Bob Marley dropped out of school. And he started up his music and shit. They say he was still working stuff. But he just dropped out of the school so he could be making money. They say he wasn't no lazy man. They say he liked to have money so he used to work for it. He had all types of jobs. Welding and everything else. They said he was a great, an awesome worker. And if they wanted some shit done, they'd call Bob Marley. He'd get it done. So his mama said he dropped out of school so he can work and then further his music career. Honey, Bob Marley ended up making a name for himself. He started his career with the Wailers. Y'all know the group, the Wailers. A group that he formed with uh, Peter Tosh and Bunny Livingston. Bunny Livingston, okay? Bob Marley's name began to travel all over the fucker place. Not just in Jamaica, all over the United States. Honey, then all these motherfucking rappers start rapping about weed and shit. Honey, Bob Marley, he was the one who opened the door for these weed songs and shit that we hear in the day. I got five on it. D'Angelo song, Brown Sugar Baby. That wasn't about no girl. That was about that ganja. The ganja from Jamaica. Ha! Huh, hello, somebody. So Bob Marley start doing all these, these touring and shit. His name start getting around. People say, oh, we fucks with Bob Marley. Bob Marley, he had another gift that some of y'all don't know. I said, I'm going to reveal it tonight. Bob Marley, he had a gift that most folk don't know. Bob Marley mama say her relatives and the neighbors and shit. They was like, girl, you know, Bob Marley know how to read palms. He know how to read your hand. So she, she said she just looked at the shit like whatever <laughs> and laughed it off. Thought they was just joking and shit. The mama say one day, he said, mama, give me your hand. She gave her Bob Marley her hands. Bob Marley read his mama palms. And the motherfucker shit happened. Came to pass. The mama said she was shook. She was shook. Like, how in the fuck he just read my motherfucking palms like this? Come to tell y'all, Bob Marley had a gift. A woman came up to Bob Marley later. She said, can you read my palms? Bob Marley said, hell no. I ain't reading palms no more. I'm doing music. Bob Marley was in some spiritual shit. I'm talking the shit that you call spooky. That you call scary. That you call voodoo. Bob Marley's friend said after he dabbled in some spiritual stuff, his natural, his natural mystic was awakened. The friend said he hooked up with some Christian rosters. 
And they told him like, oh, you better leave that witchcraft and shit alone. So he stopped practicing it and lost the motherfucking gift. But most people don't know that. He knew how to read poems. Once you get a hold of that spiritual shit and your mind becomes released, huh? you know how to do some magical shit. But you can't get off of it. You can't get off of it and just stop. That's why it's called a practice. Hello, somebody. Moving on. They said Bob Marley, he was like a big kid. He was a perfectionist. If that motherfucking song wasn't right in the studio, he'd destroy it. And he'd do it over until everybody got the shit right. They said he was, he was exuberant. He was enthusiastic. He was the most kindest, hardest people you can ever meet in your life. They said one thing about Bob Marley, he hated a stinger fucker. I say he hated a stingy little fucker. They said one thing he didn't like was a stingy person around him. I said I'm breaking it down tonight. In early July 1977, Bob Marley was injured. The injury occurred on his right toe. He playing soccer. End up hurting his motherfucker toe. I said, I'm about to break this bitch down right here. They said he was laid out on the ground. And they called a doctor. The doctor come in. They said they stuck him in his foot. With an injection that was unknown. An unknown injection into his motherfucker toe. And then the doctor just got the fuck up. And he was gone. He didn't say nothing or nothing. He just left right after in the injection into his motherfucking foot. Guess what they say? See, I got to break it down where you can understand it. They say right after that injection, he ended up with cancer in his toe the same month. That that doctor came in to that field and injected him in his toe. Later on, he came down with cancer. The family and shit, they like, okay, well, what's going on? Something ain't right. This doctor just come to the field and inject him. And all of a sudden now, he got cancer. So the family looking at shit fishy. But they can't do nothing but sit there and watch him waste the fucker away. Now I want to say this. They tried to take Bob Marley out of here before the soccer incident. In December 1976, the girlfriend of Bob Marley's designer, art designer, she said she was at the house one day. Okay? They all at the house and shit chilling. She said she heard gunshots going the motherfucker off. And they ain't see nothing. They ain't see no gunmen or nothing. They just heard the shots going the fuck off. Next thing you know, she said they busted up in the motherfucking house, shooting every motherfucker where. The kids and shit in there, they hiding under the beds. She said she just ducked down with her head, toked before, be, between her fucking legs. Because she, you know what I'm saying, she's scared, paranoid. The shots firing from every motherfucking where. She said, next thing you know, they leave out the apartment. They leave out the house, excuse me. Bob Marley done got shot in the arm. She said she looked at Bob Marley's face and he was mad as hell. She said he was ready to kill something quick, fast, and in a hurry. So they tried to take him out of here before, but they wasn't successful. So they had to come on back in 1977 and finish the shit. Now you might ask yourself, why they want to take Bob Marley up out of here? Why they want to get him up out of here for? For what? Honey, because most folk don't know. 
he organized a non-political free concert. The police said, fuck that. They said, fuck that. They moved the election to the same day of Bob Marley concert. Turning that shit into a rally for the fucking government. And shit got fucker ugly. I'm not saying that day shit got ugly. They did that to fuck with him. Honey, Bob Marley was marked for death when he got on national television. I don't know if y'all remember this. He got on national television. He said God was a black man. Huh. You ain't about to get on that TV. I don't give a fuck if it's your interview. Not at that time. You're not finna get on their TV and tell all these people that God is a fucker black man. They said, oh, hell no. This motherfucker got to go. He already promoting weed and shit. You know, when you smoke weed, that shit open up their spirituality like a motherfucker. Honey, let me tell you something. I said that weed will open up parts of your mind that you didn't even know can be fucker opened. Try mixing that with some spirituality. Huh? Choose a bad motherfucker. Oh, I know. Huh, you best to believe I do. I said it'll open up a part of your mind that you ain't know that can be motherfucking open up. Shit been laid asleep for a while. Honey, them Jamaicans would have start taking out all of them motherfuckers. They couldn't have that shit. They had to take them up out of here. Motherfucker got all these people together. They smoking weed up. They wanted to kill something. Took Bob Marley right up out of here. Every time you about to start some shit up, they going to take you up out of here. Especially where you can unite people and let them use their minds for themselves. Uh-uh. They not going to have that. That's why they killed them. I'm going to end this. I said I ain't going to tarry too long. I just kind of wanted to break down things so y'all can overstand it. But this another hit right here. I said it's another hit right here. PTB. Done left they motherfucker mark again. Honey, they taking our people out one by one, left and right. Taking about, taking them out of here. Taking them out of here. Taking them out of here. Somebody left the comment and say, well, why you ain't dead yet? Bitch, because I got a pillar of protection, imaginary protection around myself. Motherfuckers can't find me. I am off the fucker radar. They don't want people like us. They want them ones in the industry. Now, if they speak the fuck out, huh, off with their head. They know too many secrets. They can validate it because they've been in it. That's why they going after them and not me. They answer your question, fucker. Let me end this right here. This is a real quick one. Bob Marley died. We're going to do the numbers. I see y'all like the numbers. Bob Marley died May 11th. 1981. Y'all ready? 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal 21. 2 plus 1 equal what? 3. That's right. Pass that B number. He died at age 36. You get the 3 and the 6. Pass that B number already in his age. Showing you it's they motherfucking hit. But let's go a little bit deeper. I want you to add up the 3 and the 6. What's three plus six? That's right, nine. Flip that nine around, and you get six. Look at all them threes and sixes you see in his death day. Huh, you better believe it's a hit. So you want to ask, so, so, madam, was Bob Marley killed by the Illumina? Hell to the motherfucker, yeah. They took him up out of here, too. 
I don't even need to tarry. I don't need to go on. Once we see it in the mark, we already know what's going to hell on. If you speak up for something, if you stand up for something, you got to go. The PTB ain't having it. So that's why we got to say playtime is over and get up on our motherfucker magic shit. Motherfucker still scared. Ah, that's the devil. That's the shh, that same shit that you sitting up there worshiping and every damn thing else is the fucker devil. Who let me stop it right there? Stop me right there. Stop me right there. Y'all be good.